This is a, a question that is seems so simple, but actually tests one of the largest misconceptions people can have about kinematics. So here you have a force applied to a freely moving object. At once in some time, the object has a velocity V and acceleration A. Which quantities must be in the same direction? So between the choices, you have acceleration, force and velocity. How to know what is pointing in the same direction? I'm going to tell you straight up that F and A must be in the same direction. But why? That is a great question. So if you remember the definition of uh, how force and acceleration is related, the original relationship is this. Acceleration is due to a force acting on an object with a certain mass. And these are all vectors. Also, you can rearrange this to the more famous F equals to MA. Now you notice how there's only two vectors, right? So wherever A points to, F has to be pointing towards it. For example, if you have a box that is pulled this way, certain force, it's a vector, right? So it has direction means acceleration must also be in that exact same direction because the force causes the acceleration. So I'm going to write that down. Force causes acceleration. They are linked. The vector is pointing one way, the other one pointing way. Now, oh, people will always say, Miss, but what about velocity? Shouldn't you accelerate and have velocity in that same direction? Not necessarily. So you just remember F and A have to come together as a pair because they are Linked by definition, force causes acceleration. Force this way, accelerate this way. Force that way, accelerate that way. It's kind of, you know, together. What about velocity? Ah, so let's say you have an object sliding along a nice surface like this, for example. Smooth surface, ah, let's say. And it is moving at a certain velocity this way. What happens if I apply a certain force to this object this way? What will happen to the speed? It gets faster and faster. Why? Because of this force, you are accelerating in this direction. Notice when V and A are pointing in the same direction, the object starts moving faster and faster, and this is what we call acceleration. So, object increasing in its speed. When A and V are both pointing in the same direction. So if you say to the right is positive, positive V. To the right is also positive, so positive A. To the right is positive, so this is positive some force, 10 Newton or something. What if you have something a little different? Maybe the box is moving to the right, but, but there is a frictional force or some other force that is acting to the left. Oh, like that how? Huh? Now, because the force is pointing to the left, acceleration will be to the left. In other words, this is what we call deceleration. Which means the object is moving still to the right, but slowing down. So you see here, FV is not in the same direction as A. In fact, Velocity and acceleration can be in any direction. It's just how it will affect the motion. So see, velocity is pointing to the right. So if we say to the right is positive, that means acceleration will be a negative number, negative 9.81 or whatever that is, all right? So this one is in opposite direction. Similarly, force will also be a negative value. So just remember, when V and A are in the same direction, we call that acceleration. When V and A are in different direction, we call that deceleration, which means the object is moving slower and slower uh, for that case. Here's a challenge one. This one, you may have learned it, but you may have not learned it. But what if you have an object moving at this velocity, but then it is a projectile and it will go like that. Where is the force acting? Downwards. Oh, gravitational force. So gravitational force is downwards. And because of that gravitational force, you will have an acceleration of A, which is 9.81. So you can look at this picture and like, oh my goodness, V and A are definitely not in the same direction. Oh, they are 90 degrees apart. But A and, and the force, Fg, is always in the same direction. So you look at all these three different scenarios. They are all slightly different, but they illustrate the same point that your velocity does not have to be in the same direction as your force or acceleration could be anywhere. 
Okay, so that is how you can think of this question. Just remember, A and F, they are linked by Newton's second law, vectors, but velocity can pretty much do its own stuff. All right, so that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one. Hopefully this is helpful for you. And any questions, comment down below. Bye-bye.